Was there a point where you were like, I actually think we can win the whole thing? So it's really funny, actually. So we had this all-athlete banquet at the beginning mm. of the year, like September. Like, we haven't played a single game. And you're the tallest one. <laughs> and so all the coaches are down on the floor of this building. Yeah. And all the athletes, mind you, there's like over a thousand athletes. Right. Mm-hmm. So we're all like in the stands. Mm-hmm. And so each coach is supposed to go around and introduce themselves and their sport. Yeah. That's what they're supposed to say. Yeah. Gets to Muzzy. Muzzy goes, my name's Nadine Mazzarell, a women's ice hockey, and we're going to win the national championship. We haven't played a single game yet at this point. Stop. Oh, this was before the season Before started. the season started. Shut up. September. That is so And we are all cool. up there like... We have to do it. Oh like, my we have to. Not that we didn't want to before, but now we really have now to. Now you have she to. She just told the whole school <laughs> that we're going to. Oh, my God. And so, like, a lot of people's <laughs> friends on other teams and at this point, like, I didn't really know any other athletes, but yeah. a lot of girls on my team were getting texts being like, did your coach just say that? What did people do? Did they cheer for that? Or were they like, like okay. <laughs> like, what was the crowd team, reaction? The crowd was like, each team was like, cheering for their own coach so it was like right. you would see where like volleyball was you'd see where mm. basketball was mm-hmm. you'd see like kind of like see where the teams were sitting yeah and we were like cheering but we were all like everyone is staring at us oh, like no. everyone was like baffled they were like really oh no so it was like a reaction of like did she really just say that yeah oh, no. and everyone was kind of so like, then oh, you wow. really have to win because then everybody was like the nerd i'm sure people were like oh okay go off queen yeah and they're like okay you say that kind of thing but she was so confident like she knew i love that she knew did you believe it when you said it i believed it when i committed there like she yeah. was, like just the way and you saw like the transfer she was getting like we had like mm-hmm. eight or nine transfers last year yeah so like that's crazy in itself the totally. fact that she went out and hand picked people off the transfer portal yeah and was able to get them to come there mm-hmm like and they're all like really good players yeah and so you know she has a way to talk to people and like get them to come there and stuff and like you just knew and like yeah. when you stepped on the ice for that first practice you just knew that yeah. like it was going to be good and again i truly believed from the first day that we were going to win the national championship and if we weren't going to win we were going to be right there mm. but i truly thought like that was the year like to break the i guess break into it for yeah. ohio state because yeah. they had never won before right it's kind of beautiful as well, turning a negative to a positive. Because if you think about it, you were like maybe the missing piece. Or, you know, the people like you mentioned, other people that had transferred, like losing out on your university and what you thought. Obviously, that's horrible. And then yeah. it's like you go to this new school, you fit in perfectly. You're like handpicked by this amazing coach because she knows that your team like needs you. Yeah. And then you guys win the freaking national championship. It was so cool. And like, Think about a genius, though. How oh. do you add, like, 10 or 11 new players? Because, like, with freshmen, like, mm. to a team. Yes, you don't know. You don't know how they'll find out. And win. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I couldn't how, do it. <laughs> how do you do that? That's almost half your team. Yeah. Couldn't be me. And Amazing. Win. Nadine was all. <laughs> so um, who, was your, who was your toughest matchup in the tournament? Was it Minnesota Duluth? Were they the, the ones you were most worried to go through? I would say, like... Any conference team is hard. Right. We play against them so much during the year. There's bad blood. Mm -hmm. Like, people (laughs) are out to get each other. Totally. (laughs) And so I would say any conference matchup. So, like, your Wisconsin, your Mm -hmm. Duluth, Mm -hmm. your Minnesota Gophers. So, like, any of those, I think I would have been more nervous to play than anyone else. Right. Quinnipiac took us to Dobel over time. Right. In, like, the round of eight. Mm -hmm. But, again, I feel like we were less nervous that Mm -hmm. game than Mm – playing against Duluth in the finals and not because it was just the finals but because I think it was Duluth yeah and so they're a conference opponent we've played them like four times Mm -hmm. already that year and the fact that you know I think we had split with them both times yeah so like you're kind of going in being like you know we're number one but like they've beaten us yeah as much as we've beaten that yeah kind of thing like it genuinely could go either way yeah which I think is actually kind of fun yeah it's fun to be like we really do have to put on our best show in yeah. order to win this game for sure but then with out of conference like Yale and the semis mm-hmm. we were like not that we weren't nervous like we knew they're a very good hockey team but we were kind of like we've never seen them we don't right. know what to expect exactly whereas like when you scout Duluth mm-hmm. you know exactly what they're bringing mm-hmm. and you know they're good at what they do mm-hmm. whereas you know Yale you're kind of like okay first time like just like Let's go get it done. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just different. 
Oh my God, that's so exciting. So walk me through, walk me through the game against Duluth. I watched it, um, not at the time, but I watched it like in preparation for this. Like I knew you guys had won the national championship, but I didn't yeah. actually get to watch the game. I don't even know if I could have. I don't even know if it was like broadcast in a place I could have accessed it. Um, but you guys, you came out strong and you did not take your foot off the gas the entire time. And it was really cool to watch. Because yeah. uh, I could tell you were a team that had been coached to be confident. Yes. Yeah. And I think, like, one thing is, is, like, we're led by a woman. Like, yeah. we're led by a woman in power. Mm. And I'm not saying male coaches can't do that. But I'm just saying, like, she would always talk about, like, how she has a daughter named Bella. Mm. And, like, how we are Bella's idols. Mm-hmm. And, like, how she wants us to be strong women, like, that create a voice and, like, have a voice in this world and, like, do big things. Yeah. Like, coach a team to a national championship yeah. when she had also won one as a player. Yeah. So I think that... With she, who, was, who was she with when she won as a uh, player? Minnesota Gophers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so not Duluth, that's good. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, she had always instilled in us to, like, be confident. Like, we're women. Like, we're, like, we're badass. Totally. And so I think that um, she just, like, knew how to like how to get the best out of us mm. and so going into that game we were confident like we mm. were a little nervous but we were confident mm-hmm. and like you said we started out strong we never took our foot off the gas mm-hmm. and I think that we had that conditioning like we mm. put in so much work throughout the year right and like we knew that we were better conditioned than the other team mm-hmm. it was literally gonna come down to like who wants it more at the end of the day right and like and you guys did. There was no question. Literally from the from the buzzer, I was like, "Oh yeah, no, like this team's. You know, I can see why they won." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was it like when the final buzzer goes? Your national champion hooks going it through was, your head. It was so cool. It was like super bittersweet. My last game ever of college. Like, yeah. you know. So for me, going into the CHA finals the year before, mm-hmm. for the people in my graduating class that weren't gonna take their fifth year, you know, you don't know that that's your last college game. Yeah. Like you, it could be. It might not be. Yeah. Like, if you win, you go on. Mm-hmm. If you lose, you don't. Yeah. National championship game, I'm like, That's it. my last game ever. Yeah. I couldn't possibly play another game. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like <laughs> yeah. a, if we win, great. Mm-hmm. If we lose, we don't. Mm-hmm. It was like a, this is my last game. <clears throat> so yeah. definitely, like, obviously emotions going into it. Like, I was sad, happy, but, like, excited. I was, like, ready to be done, but like, then not. Mm-hmm. Like, it was kind of, like, you know, so different. So I think that um, it was, I was, like, knew that it was gonna be my last game I knew kind of what to expect but you're never ready for it you know what I mean but then when that final buzzer went off and we won it was like the best feeling in the world like I can't even describe to you like our bench like Mm. everything going into those last few seconds minutes like nerves but like confidence like and I think that's so important like the confidence and I think no doubt that's as women but we lack a lot of time so Amen. I think being led by a woman, like she mm. instilled that confidence in us and like um, just throwing your gloves in the air mm-hmm. and celebrating with your team, like winning for the first time for Ohio State. Oh. And I mean, the NCAA is a tough league to win. Yes. Let's be real. Like yes. how many people can say that they're an NCAA champion, national champion? Exactly. Insane. So is part of you like, <laughs> mm, it's kind of worked out in my favor. Like looking back, are you kind of like, wow. Thanks, Robert Morris. Now, yeah. now I'm now I was the captain with you guys and like scored all these points, blah blah blah. Thank <laughs> you so much. And I'm a national champion. Like is part of you feeling like that? Yeah, for sure. I think that <clears throat> you know, everything happens for a reason and that was how that needed to work out. As much oh. as it's so hard to see that. Like when that that day our program got cut, like I don't see it as that. Even mm-hmm. the day that I signed with Ohio State, I was like still sad my program got cut. I'm so excited for the future, but like I'm still sad about that. Totally. And, like, you never really see things through until they happen, Mm -hmm. I think, a lot of the time. So I think that it was meant to happen, and I'm so glad it did. Like, realistically, at Robert Morris, we weren't winning the national championship. We didn't have the depth. We didn't have the team. Maybe another CHA championship, but, like, maybe a trip to the Mm -hmm. NCAA tournament. But beyond that, like, we weren't winning the national championship. So I think for me, like, having that opportunity to go out of college hockey as a national champion is so cool. That's so cool. That is the, like, the craziest. That's why I was so excited for this interview. I was like, this is the craziest story of, like, (laughs) oh, my God, to, like, oh, my God, this is great. Like, what a freaking 180 turnaround blessing in disguise. You really were, like, a missing piece of this puzzle. Yeah. That ended up working out, like, so beautifully in your favor. 